In this Nova AI review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this video support tool. If you have any questions, please comment them down below, and I'll also leave a discounted link so you can always get your money's worth for Nova AI. Nova AI automatically translates and adds subtitles to digital and social content. Upon logging in, you come over to the dashboard. We also have a little chat box at the bottom in case you had any problems. I'm just going to close that for now. So first, if you go on Create Project, I'm going to click on there. And here you have the options of uploading your own video, which can be up to two gigabytes, or you can insert a YouTube link or a TikTok link. I'm just going to go ahead and insert a YouTube link so I can show you an example. Then if you click on the cloud and it'll start uploading. OK, so I've now uploaded my video and it's taken us over to this editor. We have some options at the bottom. We have the options to add video. We could split it. And then, of course, we've got like play, rewind and fast forward. After visiting every country on Earth, here are my seven favorite. Seven. I just got this video off YouTube and that's what I'm going to be sort of editing today. If you wanted to add video, you can just click on the add video button, upload something else, add another YouTube link or a TikTok link. And with split, you can just select the area that you want to split it and just click on split and it will split it right there. So we've got two clips. We can also set the size. So it's automatically set to original, but we could set it to square like Instagram, YouTube 16 by nine, landscape 16 by nine, Twitter and Facebook four by five, landscape again, and so on. So obviously we're on the settings tab. There's also the media tab. Again, where you can just upload video. You also have the option of uploading audio. Maybe if you wanted to add music or something like that. And you can also upload an image. You can just drag and drop that on there. And that's the same with audio as well. Below media, we have subtitles. So we have a few options here. We have auto subtitle, which will automatically add subtitles to our video. Manual subtitles, where we can type them manually and upload a subtitle file. So I'm going to go ahead and try auto subtitle. I actually think this video might already have subtitles, but for the purpose of this, I'm just going to try it. So here you can add new language. So I'm going to go ahead and go on auto detect. This is selecting the language that is spoken in the video. And then I'm going to go on generate subtitles. OK, so as we can see, this has now generated our subtitles. It's got them in little slots. So as we can see, after visiting every country on Earth here, and then we can see that's zero seconds to two seconds. My seven favorite country, seven, Czech Republic, that's two seconds to four seconds. You obviously have the option to edit these. Say if something was incorrect or it didn't quite get it, you can just customize that yourself. We also have customization options for the actual text itself. So for example, I can click on the little color palette we can choose the text type. So I could go for that one, 50 for the size. We can set the color. So I could go for red. We can set it in bold or italic. We can put it to the left or central, or more towards the right. Or we could also put it in the middle of our video as well. There is options here to download your subtitles. So if you just clicked on that button there, then that would download them all. So you can download them as an SRT file or a text file. If we look on the timeline as well, we can also see the subtitles at the bottom. So this has got it with the perfect timing. And as we can see, they're pretty accurate as this one already has subtitles. It's quite good to actually see if they worked or not. There's also options at the bottom to add a subtitle in case you wanted to add some more text or you can split a subtitle and that will split it into two. Another cool feature we have is translate. So if I click on there, it's obviously set at the moment at English US. I could click on translate, translate to, and we could say translate that to Spanish. Click on translate. OK, so it's now translated our Spanish translation. Obviously, it's still set to English. But if I go click on the little eyeball, we can see that that has now converted it to Spanish. If we go back on the subtitles menu, we obviously have those same customization options. We can change the text size or the font or the color. Now my Spanish isn't good enough to tell you how accurate this is, but I know beer is cerveza, so it seems good to me. Next to translate, we also have styles. 
Here is where you can select the subtitle style. Now this will change all the subtitles as one. So we could change the text type, the font size, bold, italic, those same options as before. We also have the option of subtitle effect. And as we can see, it's actually got a few examples there. So we have outline only. We have outline filled, drop shadow and block. So I like drop shadow, so I'm gonna go for that one. And if we scroll along, we can see that it's set that for all of our subtitles. Below the subtitles tab, we have text. Here we could add text over the top, so we could go for headline text, comes up there, click onto it, and you can type whatever you'd like. As we can see, that just shows up in the middle there, but you do have those options to move it around left, right, or central. If you'd customized a particular style that you really liked, you could go and save custom style and this will save it. Below text, we have transitions. So we have an array of different transitions to choose from here, like fade black, fade white, wipe left, wipe up, wipe right, and more. Usually with transitions, you'll put them in between your cuts. So as we split the video earlier, just there, so I've added the transitions to two cuts here. Now, when I've gone to play it back, they don't seem to be showing up. I've added a fade to greys there, which looks like that. But as we can see, it doesn't seem to work just there. I think it would work better if you could just drag and drop the transactions on. Maybe on export, they do work. We'll, we'll come back to that. Below transitions, we have elements. So we have an array of different brand logos or callouts, and we can just add them. So I could add Google Play onto there. So we can just grab a hold of that and place that wherever we'd like. As we can see on the timeline as well, it will show up there. If we wanted that to last the whole way through, then we could just drag that out. I could also add, say, a call out when he's talking about the beaches and just have that for that section. Below elements, we have filters. So they're coming soon. They're not out just yet, but obviously they would filter your whole video. And then the final feature is draw which is also coming soon. Once we're happy with our video, we can go ahead and we can go and export. We can choose to export it as a draft, standard, HD, YouTube quality, Instagram, or Hootsuite Twitter. We can include the subtitles into the rendered video, so they're burned into it. If you didn't want to do that, you can just untick that. We can export video and remove watermark. So I'm just gonna export that. And then that will prepare our video. And once it's ready, we can download that. If we go back onto the dashboard, we can see that our video shows up there. We do have the option to delete it as well if we wanted to. And of course, create a new project. We also have some filter options if we had quite a few. We could sort it by updated or created. And that's just about everything. So what did I think of Nova AI? Nova was jam-packed with features. It had loads of simple to use video editing tools. You could really customize your video to its full potential. I really loved the translating subtitles feature. This is usually a big task, but they really did make it easy. My only criticism is with the transitions. They never seem to work in the preview. And to be honest, I would have preferred it if they were just drag and drop. Overall, I definitely recommend Nova AI. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.